the NFL, where the players play for pay. It's your boy, Jimmy Football, tackling this NFL Week 12 recap. You can catch me bi-weekly on the Steel and Naz podcast produced by Mass Music Radio. Let's dive in. We had the Buffalo Bills and the San Diego LA Chargers. A tragedy for betters of Chargers plus four and a half in the over in this game. Anthony, no such thing as clock management win. Couldn't coach his way out of a paper bag. With that being said, the Bills led by Josh, the Lurch Allen, looks to continue their journey of either losing to the Chefs or the Steel Curtain in the playoffs. Bills 27, Chargers 17. The player of the game, Jordan Poyer, who I met in Cancun on spring break. He is my friend. He had seven tackles. Moving on, Titans 45, Colts 26. Derrick Henry, 178 yards, three touchdowns. Ryan Tannatrill and Derek Debo Henry scored more points than Phillip Rivers has kids. The Titans came through, smacked the dog shit out of the Colts in this one. We have to consider Derrick Henry the exception of the not pay the running back rule. Pay the man. Moving forward, Carolina Panthers. You blew it! Kirk Cousins says, you like that. Panthers are the most random team ever. After leading double digits for most of this game, they let Captain Kirk make a comeback. You blew it. Kirk Cousins, you like that. Moving on, we move to Florida, where the Cleveland Browns go against the Jacksonville Jaguars. My player of the game was Nick Chubb, 144 yards and a touchdown. Browns win by two. The Jaguars would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for those meddling kids, Baker and Nick Chubb. And the stupid dogs that are now Cleveland Browns, 8-3. Rutro Raggy! Do I see a potential conference championship? Cleveland Browns? We'll see. I think Odell Dukiyami Jr. will never play for the Browns again. They've played much better since he's left. We'll move on. Next game, the G-Men and the Bungles. My player of the game was Evan Ingram. Six catches, 129 yards. The Giants win this. Their first place in the NFC least. They squeaked out a nice win here for the bum Burlis Bungles, and I hate to say it as a Cowboys fan, Danny Dimes, even though he has a lot of doubters and haters, is legit. This game was a good example of 2020. Absolute dumpster fire. Big game here for the New England Patriots. A big win for Cam the Ham Newton. 20 to 17 against the Cardinals. I thought the Patriots' playoff hopes were dead in the water, but like Jason Voorhees in that Freddy vs. Jason movie, Cam Newton marched out of the water and chopped Kyler Murray's head off. I'm sure Cam Newton had to get on his knees to do that because Kyle Murray's so short, but I digress. A very questionable call gave Nick Big Dick Folk a game-winning field goal to give Pats Nation hope. Or what they call him, hey buddy, you're fucking up the draft position, kid. Come on, we're trying to tank here. Doesn't matter, Cam Newton wins games, folks. Get used to it. Then we had a game that happened. The Dolphins 20, Jets 3. Player of the game is nobody. We all lost watching this game, folks. And then the Raiders put up six points versus the Falcons 43. The Raiders are favored to win this game by three. Falcons Jake Paul, Raiders Nate Robinson. Play of the game Calvin Ridley. And then we move on to, again, 2020, man. The Denver Broncos did not have a quarterback play in this game. They had a practice squad wide receiver play quarterback. And I believe now this is a good time to announce that I will be retiring from the NFL because if I'm not getting a job now with the Denver Broncos, I may never get a job in the NFL. So I retire. COVID stinks. Saints take care of business. 31-6. Play of the game is the quarterback that, you know, He's a wide receiver, but he played quarterback. Went one for nine, 13 yards, and two interceptions. Still my player of the game. Shout out to you, Kendall Hinton. 49ers, Rams. 49ers have the Rams number, 23-20. Debo Samuel, 11 catches, 133 yards. Jimmy G is yesterday's news. I feel for Jimmy as a, a fellow guy who's kind of worthless but good looking. So, uh, you know, me and Jimmy have that in common. Niners have the Rams number. That's a tight division over there. And then the player of the game, a lot of people's Super Bowl predictions. Chiefs, Buccaneers, Patty, not your homie Mahomes, 462 yards versus the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers remind me of those cars Matilda's dad used to sell in the movie. They look nice for a little bit, but then they always fall apart. Forget about it. Buccaneers are falling apart. Bunch of boneheads over there. Chiefs, 27, Bucks, 24. And then the Sunday Night Football. Aaron Rodgers, he's a bad man. And the Chicago Bears, they're a bad team. And that proved to be true as the Packers take care of business 41-25. Rodgers threw four touchdowns. Goodness gracious. And that was your NFL recap. I'm Jimmy Football. You can catch me on the Steel and Ass podcast. 
bi-weekly. We're on all streaming platforms. Back to you!